Hey guys, how you going? Look, I uh, thought I'd do something a little bit different today, stretch the boundaries of the channel um, and have a look at these really cool Jada Toys diecast Batmobiles from the TV shows, movies and um, Arkham video games. Uh, most of these Batmobiles are in 1 24th scale except for the Robert Pattinson Batmobile which is 1 18th scale which is probably the most special one, my favourite, we'll get to that in a minute. But yeah, while I'm rearranging my cabinets, I thought I'd just get all these out and have a look at them. They might be of some interest to the Bat fans. So starting off here is Jada's 1 24th scale um, Adam West Batmobile and um, comes with a little die cast figure, which is pretty simple, non-articulated, but you know, he's in scale with the Batmobile and you'll see Dick's in the uh, passenger seat. Yeah, this is really cool. I love this one. It's got a really nice finish, um, that sort of like shiny metallic look. Um, it's heavy, it's it's really well detailed. You can see all the fine details in the driver's seat. It's, uh, it's really rad. Um, yeah, big fan of this one, probably one of my favorites. Coming up next is gonna be the most special uh, for a lot of people, the Keaton Batmobile. Um, there's no arguing how iconic and awesome this is. Uh, yeah, this is really cool. It has the little guns that you can actually flip. Uh, I'm doing a terrible job, but yeah, you know, you can flip the guns around, which is rad. Um, you can open the cockpit. Extremely well detailed for like a model at this price point. Yeah, I mean, it's perfect, like, it's, yeah, you really can't complain about that, it's, it's great. Coming up next, you have the Batman Animated Series Batmobile, which is extremely simple, but, you know, what a timeless, elegant design that is. Um, opens up, have a look at the engine. You know, that's beautiful. Yeah. Moving along. The Batman Forever Batmobile. This is not anyone's favorite Batmobile, I don't think, but I do kind of like it has, excuse my finger there, I do kind of like it has this like animal rib cage like design, like it, it makes it stand out, it's pretty unique. Cockpit opens up again. Um, yeah, and those fins are just like comically large. How can you hate it? Um, yeah, I, I like it. Uh, next, we have the Tumbler from the Dark Knight trilogy. Um, this is not one of my favourite Batmobile designs, but you can't actually fault how cool this model is. I mean, it's great. It captures all those like panels and shapes and um, yeah, you really can't, you, you can't complain about how great this looks. Uh, it does open up. It's quite fiddly. Let me see. If I... All right. So look, I sorted that out. <laughs> I used my fingernail to open that up. That was harder than it should have been. But you see, it's got like the detailed interior. Pretty awesome. You know, those tires are big and chunky and cool. You gotta love it, I think. Coming up next, the Arkham Knight Batmobile. Now, this is a sort of a cross between the Tumblr and the Justice League and Batman vs Superman Batmobile. Um, it, it's not my favorite, but it's it's kind of cool for what it is. You know, like, it's got that little, little tiny cockpit, you know, very snug. Um, but it's got all these, like, great details. And it's got that amazing shape from the back, which you see a lot in the game. Um, maybe too much, some might say. Uh, yeah, I like it. And coming up next, we have Batman vs Superman and Justice League. Um, like... I'm not a big fan of the movies or the scenes of the Batmobile in either of those movies, but I actually really love, especially the Batman vs Superman Batmobile. I think it's a really awesome design. Um, it's kind of got this like low roadster look, but also a military tactical look. I think this would look better in black. I don't know why they released it in gray, but I think it would look better in black, but it looks awesome nonetheless. And I've got this uh, Justice League bat flag. Um, but yeah, I think this is actually an underrated Batmobile design. Um, overall and then for some reason in Justice League they kitted it out with guns like so many guns and they gave it this weird asymmetrical look which I just I dislike um I don't know why they did that um anyway I'm a completionist so I bought it what can I say 
And then finally, um, he's the one eighth, uh, the Batman, Batmobile. Now you can see there's a little, uh, to scale, uh, Pattinson Batman. You know, there's not much going on there. It's pretty basic. But this car, I mean, this is, this is worth having a closer look at because it's so cool. Um, it's, it captures, you know, all the shapes, the angles that make this thing so awesome. The doors open. It's got the interior. I love that, but even better, if you come around, you'll see this version actually comes with a light up function. So it lights up beautifully. Um, the engine, the headlights. And um, you can see even lights up at the back. Now, it doesn't come with a blue light, which it really should. This should be blue uh, for that sort of the engine. But, you know, you can't fault it, really. I think this cost me $80 Australian at JV Hi-Fi. And it was well worth every cent. Like, it, it's rad. It's probably the best Batmobile you can get for under 100 bucks. Um, some like the Spin Master one, the big Spin Master one, which makes sounds. And that's really cool. But this one is like... This is heavy. This is a heavy piece of kit. Um, it's huge, it's bulky, it feels premium. Um, yeah, like if you can still find these anywhere, I would highly recommend getting one. Um, yeah, because I, I love it. I think that's just awesome and um, probably my favorite Batmobile design. But yeah, so there's my Jada Toys Batmobile collection. Uh, you'll notice there is one notable uh, Batmobile missing and that is the Batman and Robin Batmobile, which is actually like pretty rad. It, it's a crazy looking design, but um, they have not made one yet to my knowledge in, in either of these scales. So I'll be keeping my fingers crossed and uh, hopefully they'll let me complete my collection someday. But for now, yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. And um, these are all widely available from JB Hi-Fi in Australia. So um, I think they're starting to clear them out. So if you're interested in any of them, yeah, highly recommend you jump on it now before they disappear. Thanks, see you next time.